Well, first of all, here in the United States and probably in most of the countries in Europe, nobody can really pronounce my name. They always ask me how you pronounce you know, your name. Uh, my first name is Milos and last name is Sharchev. Uh, however, everywhere in the United States and in Europe also, they call me many other names, Mitso, Milo, Milos, and so on. But my real name is Milos. I'm a Yugoslavian. I won Yugoslavian championship back in 1986 and 87. I turned pro in uh, 1991 and probably uh, most of the people that follow bodybuilding know I did uh, 47 shows in the last seven years. I have uh, nine more shows to go this year and next month. So that's going to probably be record breaking like 56 competitions in uh, seven years. Uh, the reason I was doing this is because most of the people said before it's impossible to peak, you know, show after show you know, month after month, and uh, I just wanted to prove them wrong, and I really believe if uh, you're dedicated and disciplined, you know, you can do it. It's just a matter of, you know, dedication, that you're going to set your mind to it and uh, go ahead and compete. Uh, this year for Olympia, <coughs> after two years of resting, I decided to compete, mostly because I believe that right now is the time uh, for change. Uh, Flex Wheeler winning uh, three shows this spring, and then myself winning Canada and Chris Cormier, another the champions. I believe there is a little bit, you know, trend towards a more aesthetic looking, aesthetically pleasing looking, uh, symmetrical, proportionate physiques, more than just uh, muscle mass freaks. Uh, me as a bodybuilder, I have to say that I do admire very much so all those uh, champions, Dorian especially, Nasser, Jean-Pierre Fuchs, uh, um, Mike Francois and Paul Dillette, all, all the monsters. And I just uh, believe that uh, you know, bodybuilding is a little bit more than just plain muscle mass building. Uh, Mike Francois said in last year's Olympia that's what bodybuilding means. I would disagree with this. Uh, I do believe that all of us start bodybuilding for one purpose, to look good, to be satisfied with the way we look. And uh, I achieved that look, and I really wouldn't want to change my physique with anyone else. But uh, I do have to say that I respect all those, uh, you know, big monsters because I know how much dedication and hard work is going into, you know, making so much muscle mass. So anyway, uh, to go back to the point, uh, this year I'm competing again at Olympia, hoping that I can, you know, break the top six for the first time. I competed four times already and uh, this is my fifth Olympia uh, and this is solely on that uh, fact that I believe that right now we have that new fresh wave uh, need for aesthetically pleasing physiques to come on top because I think for uh, you know mainstream public for general audience uh, they would probably like to see more realistic physiques when I started back in 91 Lee Haney was considered you know a monster he was 5'11 competing 245 pounds and he was you know unthinkably big you know since then Dorian set the new standard and uh, now there are a few guys to follow and Nasser is probably pushing that limit uh, you know even more right now I believe he's going to compete somewhere about 280 at the same height of 5'11 which I really don't think it's even humanly possible however he achieved it so you know, somebody says this is progress. However, I think that it's going in the wrong direction, and uh, I can say that even 5'11", 240 pounds that I'm right now, I don't feel comfortable being this big. So I hope they're going to change the criteria this year. You see, there's uh, so many uh, great champions nowadays. You know, just uh, going to Olympia, competing. You know, among the top in the world, it's it's very respectful, and uh, I would have to say I respect all the guys that made it there. You know, a lot of professionals are uh, aiming to qualify for Olympia year after year, and they can never achieve that. And uh, I have to say that all the 15 guys that are competing this year are top professionals. Now we all have to be confident and believe in uh, our abilities to place high, and uh, you know, to have uh, that self-confidence that uh, we have what it takes. However, because of uh, inconsistent judging criteria, we really don't know which way they're going to go. And uh, I would just like to mention an example that uh, last year we had a 
apple, apples and oranges in the top 10, you know, one after another, like Dorian winning first place, uh, Sean Ray being second and Nasser third. We have extremely big muscle mass uh, monster beating small symmetrical guy, you know, mass monster being third and then small symmetrical flex and uh, so on and so on. I think what we really need is uh, to get the answers from uh, uh, top officials and judges what bodybuilding really is, what they're looking for, and that normal answer that they always have, you know, just best physique of the day, the total package really doesn't mean you know, much to us because we have a lot of genetically gifted guys that come into the shape, in, into the contest in poor condition and they're being awarded because of their name or, or their you know, genetic potential, but really condition would be really poor. Then we have a guys that come into extremely good condition and because of that they sacrifice some muscle mass. They're usually penalized you know, for actually achieving that ultra-shredded look. I would have to say that Dorian is actually the only one example with maybe Sean Ray also in that category that every time he competes he comes in 100% of his shape and uh, condition is just unbelievable. I have to say that he did set that new standard and everybody really keeps following the right. right now, a week before the show, I'm exactly 240 pounds. Uh, my condition is on target, uh, as you know, because I compete so often, I know how to measure my uh, in a condition so many days out. Uh, I did uh, four photo shoots in the last three days. It will mess me up and I believe I'm gonna have next five days to um, change my principle and uh, do a little bit things differently just to come in my 100% top shape uh, for Olympia. I'm very pleased, I'm satisfied. I think that I'm gonna present uh, my best physique and condition that this year at, uh, uh, Mr. Olympia.